Hi Jeremy, uh, Hi. how do you feel today? Amazing, no, I feel good. I feel good. You feel good, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Will this weather will affect anything or and what track you like better, like dry or rainy? It doesn't matter for me, I'm an all-rounder, I like anything, I just try to go out there and have fun, but it's the same for everybody, you know, but for me it's fine. How do you feel today, is everything ready for the race? Uh, sure, uh, yesterday had a small, uh, small issue, so um, I'm only 13th on the gate. Uh, outside of the box, so it's gonna be a difficult day, I think, but uh, I will make the best of it. I feel really good and I'm fast here, so uh, I did well in the past also. Yeah. So, anyway, looking forward. Yeah, everything ready. Uh, just had a little, uh, yeah, little problem yesterday with my ankle, so I twisted it a little bit, so gonna have to be tough today. Yeah. Today is really rainy. Will this weather affect you? And uh, do you like better uh, dry uh, track or uh, rainy? Yeah, for sure. I like better when it's sunny because, yeah, yeah it's a little bit better you know you can uh, get some tan line between the motors and everything <laughs> <laughs> but uh, but yeah no rain is also part of motocross you know uh, yeah. we like also some uh, muddy race so I think it's gonna be a nice uh, nice nice race today no I actually like it you know you like? uh, I'm from the Netherlands it's almost always raining so um, I'm used to it and uh, I usually perform well in, in the rain, so it's so, right. so it will be bonus for you today, like a little, little help, yeah? <laughs> How do you prepare for the trucks you don't know so well? Maybe you have some simulators and we know there is like MXGP video game, did you play it? Yeah, sure, I mean, for every GP, you know, I play the track, it helps so much. No, I mean, motocross doesn't work like that, it's not like Formula 1 and stuff, so... Experience, you know, uh, we've been to tons of tracks in our lives, so yeah. we know any kind of things. Even, yeah, Latvia is very special, we can't really train it, but it's the same for everybody. So. Yeah, sometimes we, we do play a little bit. Uh, I'm not so much a gamer, but uh, yeah. but yeah, when I don't know the track, you know, and uh, they rode already there on the previous years, I I just go sometimes on the game and like this you can also get a little bit of the layout on your head. No, I actually never play uh, any video games. Oh, so really? No, never, never. I'm way too busy for having uh, time for that, you know. So, okay. Uh, okay. We're always training and um, yeah, we're quite busy. If there was a battle, you versus you in the game, who gonna win? If, if I play the game, for sure me in real life, because I'm horrible at gaming, so I crash every three corners. But I would say if you take uh, one of the best players in the world, uh, I think the, the players can win, because, uh, yeah, sometimes you can do some things you cannot do on the, on the reality okay. in the game. <laughs> him, him, because he can crash any time and he will survive. I, I don't, so I, th I think he will win. If there was a battle versus him, you in game and you in real life, who gonna win? Me. <laughs> yeah, What's your perfect champion breakfast? Yeah, on a serious day, race day, I would say uh, some oats uh, with almond milk and uh, some eggs. So it's really healthy, you know, a little bit of fruits. But on a not healthy day, I would say some bacon and things like this. Yeah, I'm more into meat. Okay. Omelette, ham and cheese, avocado and some good bread. Perfect breakfast. Perfect, yeah. I think uh, just the normal, the, the oatmeal. Yeah, the oatmeal with uh, with some some fruits, some blueberries and stuff like that. As your profession have a lot of uh, traveling, how do you spend like your free time? Is there some games or you just try to relax? No games. I'm not a big gamer. Yeah. I mean, I used to do it when I was younger, but now I'm just you know hanging out with friends mostly. Uh, if I'm home to rest, I just yeah I'm busy a bit on the computer with some things, watching movies or play some piano and work on some cars or something like this. You know. What's your favorite? favorite MXGP track and why it is Tjagums Latvia? <laughs> <laughs> because I won uh, two GPs here in uh, 2015 and uh, 2020 also yeah and hopefully add another one this this weekend <laughs> <laughs> because the weather is amazing here you know we always love no we love to come to Riga and, and and it's, okay. it's a nice place scary track but yeah I have lots of other favorite tracks too <laughs> okay <laughs> <laughs> yeah actually I really like Kegums it's true because last year I got a really good result here I won both moto in MX2 yeah. so it's good memory, you know, but uh, I also really like, uh, no, I mean, I don't have a favorite track, you know, I like all tracks because uh, we have a bike, we have corners and jumps, so it's everything really good, you know. Yeah, you and the both of your teammates, 
who is the best driver for you? Ha, I don't know. Uh, I would say me for sure because I I try to beat them, so I try to train for that. But they are really experienced riders, you know. Yeah. They are more old than me. They can learn me a lot, so I try to look at them a little bit. But my 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 goal is to beat them for sure. Yes. Me? Who else? I mean, who is the best one? Me. <laughs> okay. No, actually, it's not true. It's not true because Maxime is in front of me in the championship. Yeah. But still. The year is long and uh, I think we are all quite similar, but uh, as far now, I'm the last one from the team in the championship, so I need to do something. Okay, thank you for the interview, we wish you the best.